Hi students, welcome back. So in the previous video, I explained the basic introduction part of the object oriented programming language. So there I had explained the four standard principles, those with sub, uh, a language that supports those four standard principles, that language we call it as an object oriented programming language. Okay. So those are the encapsulation, encapsulation, abstraction, abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism okay any programming language supports these four principles that language we call it as an object oriented programming language okay so to use these principles in java programming if you want to use these principles in java programming language we need some language constructors language constructors okay to use to use these principles uh, to use these principles in java we need some language constructors what are those language constructors one is a class and another is the object remember students this class and object are not principles or not the principles when whenever in the examination or interview point of view if they are asked about the principles you need to tell these these are the principles the Java programming language principles are only encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance and polymorphism. So there is a parts also, not only these four, means these four again are divided into so many like data heading, the, uh, uh, data binding, so like that uh, will be there. But these are the four principles. Again, these four is having a sub, sub principles, right? So these four, you need to be remember that. Class and objects are not principles. They are all the language constructors. By using these principles, Java, uh, if you want to construct a Java programming languages, we need to use these principles with the help of the class and object. Right? So, in this video, I am going to explain about what exactly the class is. So, we will discuss about the class in this video. In the next video, we will discuss about the object. So, then you will get a complete clarity on what is a Java class and what is an object class. Object, right? Okay. So, what is a class? Any guess? What is a class? A class is a collection of variables and methods. Okay, so a class is a collection of variables and methods. You all know the C, C language, right? You also know the C++ language. So in the C language, we use the syntax. In the C++, C++ language, we use the object-oriented programming uh, principles. Okay, together a Java is developed. Java uses the syntax of the C and it uses the principles of object C++ and the Java programming can be developed. So, I am talking about the class is a collection of variables and methods. So, in the C, whatever the representation of variables that we will use here also and the methods that we use, we use here also. Okay. So, let me explain you the syntax. First of all, the syntax, how to represent a class. Class. I already said a class name, the rules to declare the uh, name of the class or the source file name. So, a class name should be the starting letter is the capital letter and the next let word of the first letter is also the capital letter. There should not be no space in between the two words. Class name. Starting letter of every word should be the capital letter. There should, no, uh, there should not be any space between the class. Class name, data type, variable 1, data type, variable 2. Okay. So, here the return type method, return type method name argument 1, argument 2, so on. So, you need to mention the return types and close. So, this is a syntax of the class. Don't worry. If you see the example, then you can get the clarity on what exactly the class is. So, that is only the syntax of the class. One point you have to remember, student. Here, I want to clarify you. Class will not occupy memory. 
whenever you represent a class it will not occupy whenever you perform an operations whenever you are calling a methods then only uh, it will occupy the memory so only the file occupies memory occupies memory not the class just remember this point so in between the sessions i'll just to tell you some important points like this so remember these points okay it will be useful for you in the interview part as well as in the examination point of view also okay in the object exam uh, okay uh, so now let's start a class what so i said class is a collection of variables and method so usually we call class is a reference data type what is this reference data type i am saying that class is a collection of variables and methods and here i am saying class is a reference data type did you remember that i said the starting in the video introduction part data types the java data types are of two types okay one is primitive data type and another is reference data types this video i already explained if you having any doubts please go and watch that video okay so java data types a data types are divided into primitive data types and the reference data types primitive data types total 8 or there okay so like byte short int long float double char okay so like this so these are the uh, some primitive data types and uh, boolean so then what about the reference data types reference data types are nothing but the class arrays strings interfaces and so on okay so by seeing this what you understand a class is a reference data type right or wrong a class is a reference data type so i'll tell you a simple example i'll tell you a simple example so that you can get a clarity on that example suppose suppose if you want to store a data in a system using a java programming language okay by using java programming language uh, you want to store data okay store data in system so then you'll get a doubt why to store how to store and what to store when to store so when to use this java for storing so these are all the questions that we raised so to store the data first of all what you required you required first you required class if you want to store data in the system first you required a class okay you required a class so you know so a uh, class it is just uh, generally it is a keyword which is present all in the small letters the class is a name uh, the class name is starting letter is a capital letter but class is a keyword it is a keyword right or wrong so keywords all letters should be the small letters i already explained this the keywords are represented in the small letters only so to store data in a system first of all we required a class so that's why i am saying that class is a very important so i'll tell you a simple example simple example so how to store the data by using the class how to represent it okay so class employee all small letters employee the starting letter should be the capital letter so better use the uh, use a related name suppose if you are using the employee information write the class name as employee suppose if you are uh, storing the student data use the class student suppose if you are storing the college information so class college like that always use better to use the related information uh, name instead of a b c 1 2 3 x y z like that okay so better use the related uh, name class employee so int employee number okay and string instead of using the character i am using the string name why i am using the string name string it's a reference data type right it is a reference data type so character is if you use a character character allows only one character string means number of characters are used so better to use string instead of character in java programming language string name okay so float salary 
okay small uh, star this is what so int employee number and uh, everything so now for methods void accept it's a method to accept the information okay play if you want to display the employee data on this you call the void display okay so that's it so here i didn't use the public void main static void main so just i'm explaining the class how to store the data in a uh, memory okay so like this you are storing the data. so these are these two are called as a methods these two are called as methods so this is the one class in a program in a program there is only one class here employee class is there so like that you can add multiple classes here class employee i had written class manager so so many managers will be present in each and every department in a uh, organization so class employee is one class class manager is one class and the class uh, staff attendance at, attenders will, will be one class like that a multiple classes can be present in a single program okay so later you have to so save the program as employee dot java okay so this is what so class is nothing but you are go it is not a class is not storing a means uh, it's not occupying the memory it's just like a planning so after creating a class a constructor has to be a compulsory object has to be created otherwise class is wasted simply writing program any use it's just a planning that's it so whenever you created the object the object as is going to create uh, means compulsory object has to be created otherwise class is wasted memory wasted time wasted okay so this is what i said class does not occupy memory okay file occupies memory so this is what about the class so in the next video i'll explain about the object because if you want to store the data if you want to occupy the memory a object has to be created right with the help of the object only the data can be stored and data can be accepted the data can be displayed okay so this is just class is nothing but it's just like a planning it doesn't occupy a space in the memory so whenever the object is created then only it occupies the space in the memory okay in the next video we will see about the object